Hi, how to needle felt eyelids? Let's find out. Hey, I'm Pam Duffy and I'm here to help you craft your career with creative marketing and artistic inspiration. It's a Wednesday, so it's another needle felting supplies, equipment and technique tutorial. Every Wednesday I make videos like this, so if this is something you're interested in, don't forget, come back every Wednesday. So before we get started, I just want to ask you guys a question. Do you use glass eyes? Do you felt your own eyes or do you use different plastic eyes, safety eyes? If you can let me know in the comments down below, I'd love to hear what you use on your sculptures. So today I want to look at putting eyelids onto your needle felted sculptures because using the glass eyes or even hand felted eyes can look awesome but a little bit startled and of this really simple technique of just felting on some eyelids makes the world of difference. So check out this little guy and I just made different types of eyelids just to help cover his eyeballs. So how did I do this? Let's go find out. felt in your eyes or I'm using some glass eyes and you want to felt a little tunnel through in the direction you want the eyes to go in so I'm felting in sort of towards the center of the head so they would crisscross at the back if there was longer wires if this is going to be a keeper then you're going to want to glue these eyes in um, I just use the paver pole for doing this. I would just dip a bit of the shaft in and then stick it into the eye hole that I've made. So to make your eyelids, in whatever shade your eyes of your animal is going to be, you want to take four smallish pinches of that colour. Um, as this is not a keeper, we're just using some core wool here. And you want to try and make it so that Two are smaller and two are bigger, but whenever that even for me. And we're just, I'll take one of the bigger pieces and we're going to take it, I'm just using the needle for a wee guide, I'm just folding it in half and then folding it in half again so that I've got a nice tight line going here and this is what I'm felting. This is going to be the edge of the eyelid, so I'm felting this and leaving the rest all loose just really careful felting between my fingers when you're felting this tight as well go really lightly don't really hold on to to your needle because this means if you touch your fingers then your hands will just slide away and you won't actually stab yourself and this way you get a nice firm edge the width of this is just slightly wider than the eyeball it's going to go on and the eyes that you use want to be slightly larger than you think they're going to be because they're going to be covered with eyelid. So we do this for the other three bits. And so you should have four pieces, two slightly smaller, two slightly bigger, with nice flat felted edges. It will be a little bit felted into it as you've been stabbing, and then wispy ends. And then we're going to make the eyeliner for the eyes. Quite a lot of animals will have a different coloured eyeliner round the bottom of their eyelids. And all you need to do is twist off a piece of that colour to make a kind of thread. Thank you. 
and then you can fold over the edges and roll between your fingers just to make them even less fuzzy. And then these pieces you're going to carefully felt onto your eyelid. Bear in mind if you felt up and out, like how you can see my needles go in there, that would take a piece of the black and poke it up through the white. There's going to be some showing up, that's impossible not to have, but if you careful and stab more into the centre of the piece then you'll see less. And don't stab too deeply and it should be enough to just get it to hold. And if you choose one area to be the front and the other the back, you could felt more towards the back and then the front will look nice and clean and all the pokey out messy bits of black would be into the back. Repeat for your other three pieces. So you can see here hopefully a little example of me taking a little thread through the back so it looks a bit messy but we can use the other side as the front. And then when you're attaching the eyelids, you want to think of the shape, the slant of the eyes. Um, this could be slightly slanted up like a cat or straight across. And what you're going to do is tack in the edges at where you want the direction of this eye to be. So I'm going to give this a slight slant up. I have no animal in mind. This is just a, an idea here. So you take the smaller ones. We're going to do the bottom first and just place them with the edges just slightly slanting up and I'm just going to tack in with my needle across around about at the centre of the eye and in this diagonal line. Get them tacked into place where you want the edges to be, focus on that first and then smooth down underneath. the exact same with the second eye. Try and get the slant about the same. It's never going to be perfect because we're humans, not machines. And felt that in place. Blend in these fuzzies back into the head with just extra felting. And then for the top eyelids, we're thinking of making this eyeliner go where it would be naturally. We're drawing in the eyeliner. So if you've got a cat or something, you could draw it in much more down the muzzle as this is kind of what cats would look like, but this definitely doesn't look like a cat to me. So we're just gonna keep it keep the eyeliner nice and close to his eyes. Again, you could go off to the side a wee bit if that's what the animal has. And as exactly as we did on the bottom, I'm going to tack in either side of the eyes, first of all, in the direction I want. At this stage, the eyes are going to be slightly shut. Don't worry about that. We'll deal with that later. We're wanting to tack everything in first of all. And you can do the second eye before you get this too attached. Now if there's too much fluff in the centre you can just remove some of that carefully. And tack on side two. Thank you. 
and then we're going to felt all round. And the good thing is with this, the larger the eyes are, the more kind of slightly protuberant, is that a word, more bulgy out they're going to be here. And this is the case for a lot of smaller breeds, they, their eyes are slightly more bulgy. If you're having a larger breed, you would use smaller eyes and it would stick out less. And now to open the eye some more, we're going to start felting up into the into this eyeliner and this starts to open his eye and cleans out. You don't want to obviously stab right into the glass, but as you run your needle along it, then this is going to pick up all the loose fibres and you can open the eye as much as you want to. So you can see you get a different look depending on how much you open the eye, but and open this a little more so he looks a little less sly. And just for difference, the eyeliner is a little longer on this side than it is on this side, just to show you what you can do. If this happens when you're making it and you don't want it to happen, you can very simply add a little bit of the core colour over here or add a little bit extra eyeliner. And just open the eyes as much or as little as you need. If you go right down with the bottom eyelid, it can give them a slightly more startled expression, leave it further up and there's a little more of a sly expression. And also some breeds have looser eyelids than others, if this was in a different colour, you could leave it looser hanging down a little bit and then felt in a little white underneath and that would show up as the white band underneath the eye that some people find cute. If you have any lumps or bumps you're not happy with on the head, remember you can cover them up with a small amount of fleece and just felt in to smooth the area. And there we go, just for Wendy, Bob's your uncle. you have some nice felted eyelids. So I hope that helped you all with some inspiration of how to make the eyelids on your animals. If it did, feel free to share your works with me on Pam Duthie's Felting Friends on Facebook. I would love to see your work. Thank you so much for joining me. So if that was helpful for you, don't forget, click on my wee face to subscribe, check on the video that YouTube thinks you want to watch and come back every Wednesday for more videos. Thank you so much.